Well, Fool's Garden, she is such an honest filly, and today marks the seventh run in a row that she's not missed the winner's box or the second place. And Tiki, you've been doing duty on her quite a bit of recent. You know her very well. You've ridden her to victory before, and she's a winner again here. Yes, uh, she's ultra consistent, and uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I've had more seconds on her than winners, but uh, yeah, uh, yeah, she's definitely uh, done very well, and yeah, she keeps on, keeps on producing. And the secret to success does look like the mile trip. She runs well on both poly and grass. She's done better on grass, but over the mile, she very rarely misses. Yes, uh, I mean, both, uh, both for winners uh, with me were uh, mile, and uh, yeah, uh, she's very versatile as well as consistent. So yeah, that also plays a, a big role. You can run on either surface, and I think she would have won on either today. Well, she's done a fantastic job. She's be beaten a really nice field. Well done. Thank you. I'd like to say a big thanks to Mr. Kreef uh, for the trance and uh, Jennifer, everyone back at home for the support. So I appreciate it. Thank you. Congrats. Thanks. There you go. Teak delivers Fool's Garden. She really is a fantastic and honest sort. She's a wonder as far as PAs, pick sixes and the like are concerned. She's a horse that you always have to include and often pays you back. Well done. Thank you, Nate. And very well done to Robin Stradham as well. Yes. No, most definitely. I'm sure he's really thrilled to be involved in a horse like this. She's, uh, never mind pays her stabling fees and then some. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, the one day he did come and watch her is the one day she ran nowhere. So. I do remember that, yes. <laughs> so anyway, but very well done. And I started uh, from Teak and, uh, you know, he kept his cool and he just waited for them to run up to him. And yep. when he asked her, she quickened again and won a nice race. Bit of a hard luck story for Epic Storm. She was tardy, and especially after the, the false start, a little bit tardier the next time. She ran pretty much a cracker, considering. Yeah, no, it's, uh, unfortunately, she came up a bit yeah. slow, and, you know, the mile is really on the sharp side for her, so um, but she gave away start and finish and, uh, you know, stormed through late to run a nice race, yeah. but... Uh, you know, a little bit on, you can't give away ground when no. a mile's a bit on your sharp side. It certainly is. Nevertheless, two good runs here. Well done. Thank you. Fool's Garden in the winner's box, as Alan points out, very well done to Miss Robin Stradham, who owns her uh, along with Alan and Glenifer Kreef, so great win here, and, and she's been such an honest individual. T gets on very well with her, and when you see her, especially over the mile trip, never leave her out. No, way to go. It's just epic storm. I was slow to begin, but just got to rouse along to get in touch with the field, which it does so. Right along the inside, stream of kindness, fool's garden. Those, they began smartly. Samara's also now moving off to the front now. They've been followed in by Matina, in behind it, and Usko's wings, Kentucky blue. Then comes Beyond Temptation at the back. We've got epic storm. Race him down past E1200 and Samara's now open up by about four lengths of a fool's garden in second. Stream of Kindness races away in third towards the outside. Matina back on the rail. We've got Anushka's wings. They've been followed by Kentucky Blue. Beyond Temptation, Red Herring on the scent and Epic Storm is at the back end of the field. Start the home turn now, a little on 800 meters left to go, and Samara will guide him in from Fool's Garden. Then comes Stream of Kindness. Martina's in behind it, one of Nushka's wings, then beyond Temptation. On the centers, looking for a way through down the inside. They've been followed then by Epic Storm, Kentucky Blue, and Red Headings at the back end of the field. Come down now with 300 meters left to go and Samara's holding on. But look at Fool's Garden absolutely cruising, being given its head now. But Bettina is also in with a shot on the center, is also looking for a gap between runners as they come to the closing stages. And Fool's Garden has hit the front yard now, down the inside on the scent. Beyond Temptation is taking off late, but Fool's Garden has won it. Beyond Temptation flew up for second, got tight for third. To go and Samara will guide him in from Fool's Garden. Then comes Stream of Kindness. Martina's in behind it. One of Nushka's wings. Then Beyond Temptation. On the centers looking for a way through down the inside. They've been followed in by Epic Storm, Kentucky Blue, and Red Headings at the back end of the field. 
come down now with 300 meters left to go and Samara's holding on but look at Fool's Garden absolutely cruising being given its head now but Bettina is also in with a shout on the centre is also looking for a gap between runners as they come to the closing stages and Fool's Garden has hit the front yard now down the inside on the scent Beyond Temptation is taking off late but Fool's Garden has won it Beyond Temptation flew up for second got tight for third